are the controller settings I've been using for almost an entire year. I actually copied them from Pro Player Byla because when I tried them in this video, I absolutely loved them. But after nearly a year of never changing these settings, I might have just found new ones that I like even more. This is a big deal because I never change my settings and I still might not. That's what I'm about to test. But the reason I'm even considering it is because I have tried hundreds of Pro Controller Player settings ranging from the GOATs like Faceway, Mero, Re and even dating all the way back to the OGs like Nick Merckx, Unknown Army, even Fearless. Out of all of those, I've only liked one player settings enough to copy them, and that's FNCS winner Byla. Then that leads me to where I was just a few days ago, where in this video I tried the settings of this guy, Alongo FM, who is not a pro, but he is ranked as the second best Unreal player in the world. And if you didn't see the video, I kid you not, I did not miss a shotgun shot. I was hitting literally everything, and I won the first ranked game that I played on these settings. But like always, right after the video, I came right back here and switched back to my normal settings. But now it's like four days later and I keep thinking about those settings and how crazy my aim was. So I have to try them again and see if it was just a fluke or if these are actually just crazy good settings. So let's take a look at these, but all I want from you before this is for you to click that subscribe button. Thank you a ton if you did, now let's change these settings. So up here in this first tab, like seven settings, I'm not changing anything. First change is gonna come at the build and edit where I'm going from a 2.0 to a 2.3. Now so on a 43% look sense, this build sense would be really fast. Well, I think the part about these settings that made my aim so good is that the look sense is at 37% with no boost. So at 37% look sense, this build and edit is actually slower than my old one. Not by a lot, but I did notice it. This is the aim that you use when you're not ADSing, so for like hip fire shotgun shots, which is most of the close range shots you take. And when I had these settings on, I'm telling you, I just didn't miss. I was hitting max pumps left and right. Then on his settings when I was trying these, he actually had this all the way up to 17%, which was way too fast. And I think my ADS sense is already good, so I'm not changing that at all. It's still 7, 9 with 1% boost. I feel like I fry people with this ADS sense, so I definitely don't need to change it. Then zero cycle dimming time linear settings, and the dead zones are just 10 on left and right. I didn't change any of this either. Now the whole reason for the setting switch is because the shotgun in the builds felt insane. So I think the ultimate test for this is going to be getting a high elim win, but in solo trio. So I'll be fighting three people by myself, which means my aim has to be almost perfect. And I also can't mess up any builds or edits. One mistake is pretty much a death sentence. So let's do this. Gotta fry this guy. Hopefully his teammate's not too close. Yep, there's a teammate. And he has a drunk. Hey, there's one. I think there's only two here, and they're kind of bad. Let's go, first two down. I feel like in solo trees, you kind of have to sneak up in third party like this. I don't know if these guys ended the fight or not. I guess they're pushing me now. Oh. Yep, this is going to be a full trio fight. Okay, this guy's a bot. Dang. Wow, this is actually a bad fight. I'm just lucky that this team is insanely bad. All right, I'll take it though. So far, the builds and edits feel really good. The shot and aim, I do see myself missing a couple shots. But I haven't really been in an intense fight yet, so maybe that's where it'll pick up. This is friend dead. Yo, I'll take that free kill. Let's go. Bob, oh my. Now I get six slurps pro trios is broken. All right, we got a little AI. Send us the 10 players left. Oh, there's someone. Yo, I feel like a lot of these teams are bad. Push this guy, bang, drop down with peace control. I think this is going to be the difficult team to beat. They just rebooted, they got a full squad. I don't want to jinx it, but if I can manage to pull off this win, I'm going to try to do a little versus between my settings. So I'll try another solo trios game, but with my normal settings that I've been using for a year. And that's going to be next, so make sure to keep watching. Yes, these two guys are fighting on the third part of this show. Dang. Let's go. Nice. I don't even know how many people are alive. Okay, there's two there. And I guess a solo over there. <laughs> he's gonna heal and then he's gonna come out and I'm gonna just beam him. Let's go. 1v1v1. Nice little hit on him. There we go. Oh, he's coming up. A little double edit. Feels feel really good. No way, bro. My shot was literally lined up for a 200 pump on that guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop, we're so high. Nice, he died. 1v1 for the solo trio clutch. Here we go, 70. Hit, bro, he literally shot me through the wall. 
Let's go! No way! Dude, that's literally my first solo trios game on these settings. Well, I managed to pull off the win, so let's go back to my original settings that I've been using for all this time. And now let's see if I can win on these settings. Bro. Like, I missed that shotgun shot right away. Oh, hit that nasty free fire, bro. Bro, come on. But his teammate's from behind. His teammate's from behind. Beam 200? No way, bro. I hit a body shot, but dang well, it. Well, so far on the normal settings, the trios is not working. Let's see if I can just win a normal solo. Bang 200, but that's ADS sense. That's more ADS sense. And that's more ADS sense. ADS. Nice hit. I missed. And his shot goes off before me. Bro. These settings are not working. Okay, look, I'm switching back to these settings one more time to make sure this isn't a fluke. I can't tell if I'm just getting unlucky when I put on these other settings. But if I start playing nuts again, I think these settings are just it. Nice hit. Let's go. All right, here we go. The build and non ADS shotgun aim. This is where it comes in effect. And bam, hit that clutch shot. Fighting. Let's just. Damn, I'll steal that kill. This guy just got hit with that new crazy pistol thing. I guess I'll take the easy three kill. Yeah, bro. The ADS aim was not the problem. I'm looking for more of that aim. I was going to corner peek me, and I was going to slide through with my movement. Involved in this little fight over here. Dude, there's so many people. Yo, there's someone up top. I didn't even know. Oh, I see him through the wall. <laughs> Let's go. Just take the zip line, break on the build, and hit him. Let's go. Oh my god, it's a renegade. Let's see, can we kill the renegade waiter? Yo! Is that a third party or is that him? Alright, let's try to be a little evasive. Get out of here. No, please hold a wall. Oh my god, I held a wall. This is a miracle. Get out of here just to pop some shield, bro, please. No way. What a shot, though. Oh, my God, dude. This aim. That... Why is there another person, bro? Come on. That aim just bailed me out so hard. Bro, what is that? Oh, my God. Oh, there's so many people here. Either way, I'm gonna be honest, I played so much better on these new sets. I still don't have my mind 100% made up, but this video was definitely convincing me to at least try it for the next week. So give them a shot for yourself. Let me know how you like them. Make sure to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.